lucky. But um, so anyway, the story starts that rule, the artist that I was working with, I'm actually wearing his merch today because um, I took these photos, but randomly I was wearing it when you called. So that's hilarious. Um, so anyway, <laughs> it looks cool. Tie dye too. Merch actually. <laughs> Rule was um, lucky enough to sh- uh, support Sean Mendes on Sean's Australian tour in uh, 2019. And so he was doing two shows. And I can't remember if it was the first or the second show, but uh, it was the first time we'd done like big arena show as well. So really new for us. And we got familiar with the security and kind of where we could shoot and where we couldn't shoot because Sean has a section kind of ver- in the very, very front that's like taped off that, we, that no one was allowed to kind of walk through um you could only shoot from the sides and so or you could only kind of pass through the sides i guess so for rule we were like well, we we don't need to be restricted we don't have there's no pirate techniques there's not there's no issue with us being in the front so um we kind of spoke to security and said is it okay if we shoot through this section just for rule because he's you know he's supporting he's only playing for like half an hour before got it all cleared and probably like I think I started from that section and then I ran up to the back of the arena to get some great you know big um, stadium kind of shots and then I when I was coming up to the front and I tried to pass through that area two of my colleagues so there was Joel who's rules videographer and another friend of mine um, Jaden who was doing video that night they walked through and I kind of tried to walk behind them to go into that section this security guard just pops in front of me (laughs) literally like shirt fronts me like body tags me and I was like oh no I'm like and I'm pointing to rule and so rule's still singing during this moment and I'm like I'm shooting for rule and he's just like waving his fingers you can't be there and I'm like showing him my pass and in that instance, I always try and like calmly, like, hey, just so you know, I'm shooting for this artist, like really trying to calmly explain why I'm meant to be there. And all of a sudden, he just pushes me like in the middle of my chest out of the area. And I like, so, I was like, what the fuck do you think? You're? Like, his, I just think I was so shocked that he physically pushed me. I was just as you should be so angry also too like I'm one of those people that I don't ever like to think what's happened to me is gendered I'm actually like I'm pretty glass half full probably just a miscommunication in this instance I think because my two colleagues had just walked before me it just felt really gendered and I think that's why I got so angry those types of experiences for me have been few and far between where I've really felt like I guess a, a real discrimination or, or something that I felt was really unfair. So I just, I just saw red and I wasn't coping. And so I'm pretty sure Joel even said to him, no, she's cool or something. And then I ended up going over to like the head security guard who we'd already spoken to and said, Hey, this guy has just pushed me. And I was like almost on the verge of tears, which, you know, if I'm in that state, because it it takes a lot for me to get there. I was just like, just so shocked. Yeah. So he came over and had to have a word to him and said, no, they're cool. And you know, this is like minutes have gone past. So, you know, you're miss. I can't do my job in that instant. No, you're taking a, a, it could be like a whole song to try and get this. You can't shoot and argue what's wrong with you. (laughs) <laughs> exactly and we've already got limited time so it's a, you know a short set and stuff so it was just incredibly frustrating um it was eventually sorted and like you know every time I walk through there I just like glare at him like just make sure that he knew that I was so pissed off one of those moments and I remember afterwards we were talking about it backstage and the guys actually said to me I think that was because you're a chick like they were like I really think that yeah. he saw thought you weren't meant to be there and uh, yeah it just made me so angry because like I said I never like to assume that and I really like to I'm really assertive and I really you know try to just not to give people grace and I don't like to assume those things but in this instance it really felt like this and I also have to say this wasn't anything to do with Sean's security guard this was venue security like Sean's security were so lovely and accommodating and took us everywhere this was venue security, very, very separate from Sean. So um, just in case that like, don't want there to be any misunderstanding. You don't want like a fan base to get a hold of this? Yeah. Like, to Twitter we go. <laughs> no, it was definitely venue venue um, security who probably just wasn't briefed properly or whatever. So yeah, very, very frustrating. Oh man, I can't even imagine. And you did, you went through all the like perfect, 
I feel like a lot of the stories I'm like, I don't know how to handle this, but this one I'm like, oh, I understand just because I've been there to an extent. I, I've been body checked, I guess. Uh, you know, hip hop sometimes gets a little crazy too. I was going to say, like, you went through all the correct things. You're like, here's my laminate. I think the mistake you, you need to wear a shirt with rules merch next time. And then that'll. <laughs> what? Always wear a black t shirt that has rule. And I think would have been one of the Asia tours or maybe the tour we just came off or something. I, I most likely would have been wearing rules merch. It's like something yeah. that we always. Yeah. And, and the other thing too is like, I'm always want to introduce myself at the start to kind of avoid this because I've had yeah. issues in the past. You go to a new venue, they don't know who you are. They don't see some new chick she's popped up. They don't, you know, if I'm saying that I want to go on stage or whatever. So I really try and make a point of making sure we know where we can go, make it all, you know, it's all clear so this doesn't happen. So, and but I guess, you know. Yeah, you're proactive. Yeah, really proactive. Um, but I guess in his defense, you know, it's a huge arena show. Like it's not like a, a, a venue where rules venues would, go, you know, maybe be between 500 and maybe 5,000. I think that's the biggest yeah. venue we've got, 5,000 in, in Australia. So it's a little bit different than a, you know, 30 or 40,000 arena and they've got so much more to deal with. So slightly can see where he's coming from, but also very annoying and just prevented me doing my job. <laughs> I was, I was trying to look up a term while you're finishing that up because I wanted to use it, but I, I don't know if you like when I'm saying something on here, I'm like, okay, make sure that's the correct thing. And the term I wanted to use was peacocking, which is more regards to men, but that's not yeah. how I wanted to use it. I wanted to say like, sometimes when there's a big venue like this and you're shooting or you need to be memorable, I tried it. Like for me, it's cause I'm bald and kind of unique. I give them like, like they remember me, but I'm wondering if you think that people ever remember a certain thing about you. Like, Oh, not just the lady that's shooting, but the lady yeah. with the, you know, right now it would probably be your hairstyle. Honestly, it's yeah. pretty memorable, but yeah, at the time I didn't have that. So I don't know. Yeah. You're right though. Something that makes you a little bit more memorable. I think it's really difficult in that instance. Cause like, you know, you speak to the head of security yeah. and then has 40 guys on, um, you know, they change positions at certain times as well. So it's probably like a totally different person that was there, but yeah, it's, re it's really frustrating when that happens. And, uh, but I, like I said before, I like to kind of tell those stories because it happens to everybody. And I think it's really good to understand that it's not personal. Cause I know some people take it yeah. really, yeah, they get really angry or feel like they've been personally wronged. It does feel bad. Even with the gendered stuff, like I know, I definitely know stories, you know, there's a lot of female shooters that I know that have horror stories about it. And it really does feel like, you know, gender discrimination sometimes, yeah. but I try to give young photographers like the tools to be really assertive and to be, stand your ground. You have the right pass. Just be really calm. Try not to get angry. I tell you what, it flew out the window that day. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> it's like, like it's like when they're training you for the plane crash for like yo this plane's crashing i'm out the window and i'm out the window before we hit the, the ground running you know what i mean like <laughs> it's like all the training in the world can't prepare you for those moments where you like you said see red pushes you yeah like i just think everything is it's like all bets are off i'm yeah. sorry 